What's up guys, Kalani in Savannah here, and we have a very, very special video for you tonight. Very special. We are at one of the most haunted places in New Jersey. Over 70 recorded deaths have occurred literally where we're at. Yeah. Now we are at a mine where they've had a ton of paranormal activity. Now there's 26 floors to this place and 25 of them are completely flooded. So it's flooded all the way up until the floor that we can go into, which is so crazy to think about. Now they had many deaths, many tragedies, and many accidents take place here. From TNT to mine shafts closing, this place has a ton of paranormal activity. They've seen shadow figures in parts of the mine that we're going into tonight. People hear carts moving and the wheels squeaking. Now they even have TNT explosions from the residual energy that's left when they did mining here. That blows my mind that you can still hear the residual explosions. Now people have also even reported being shoved, touched, pulled, and sometimes even women here have crazy things happen in a part of the mine that we'll take you into tonight. Women didn't work in the mine and weren't supposed to be in the mine, so I think that maybe some of the workers get kind of like dodgy about women being in here. But I mean, if you're ready, I'm ready. We're in Ogdensburg, New Jersey I'm at nervous. the Sterling Hill Mine. Savannah's nervous. She I'm doesn't want to go in. They've also seen a giant bear out here, like a huge bear. So they're like, make sure you close the doors because you don't want anything coming in behind you. So not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but here Let's we go. Let's get into it. John Ruggiero, founder of New Jersey Paranormal. How I became involved in the uh, Sterling Mine was I was doing research uh, for places in New Jersey that had tragic events happen. And I came across an article that the Sterling Mine had 79 deaths over 99 years. So I scheduled a meeting with the director, Bill, and he said that those were recorded deaths. They didn't start recording the deaths until the early 1900s, that he thought that that number was actually triple. So uh, we came in and we experienced pretty much all that they experienced and more and our many investigations here. We were doing an EVP session in the dynamite room and we were getting many, many voices, disembodied voices on the recorders and live. And we heard a loud metallic bang. It sounded like someone dropped a big metal door right outside the room. And we checked the entire mine with flashlights and nobody was in there but us. A shadow person ran right by me and down one of the corridors. I saw it clear as day. I was at a flashlight. I was setting something up. It came around me and I watched it just go straight down the corridor. My name is Chris Therian. I am the co-founder of New Jersey Paranormal. The mine is a terrifying place for me. My first experience in the mine that, that really set the stage for me was the team was in getting ready to do a private investigation. I walked off by myself with my daughter to put infrared lights out for filming. And as I got further into the mine by the dynamite area, something growled at us. We tried to ignore it and the more we ignored it, the more aggressive it became until a gush of hot air came flying out of the mine at us and we went running and I went screaming for the team. And I've also been rushed by something that's hit me and knocked me into a wall where I thought some, my daughter was standing by me where I was completely alone. I've got the experience that it's terrifying in there for me.
Welcome to Sterling Hill Mine in Ogdensburg, New Jersey, renowned for its rich and colorful mineral deposits. Discovered by the Dutch in the 1630s, significant commercial mining began in 1818, laying the foundation for its storied history. The mine's history is intertwined with William Alexander, known as Lord Sterling, a Revolutionary War major general whose influence adds historical depth to the region. From 1897 to 1986, the New Jersey Zinc Company operated the mine. They extracted zinc ore essential for various industries under harsh conditions. Tragically, the mine's history includes the loss of over 70 miners, with some bodies never recovered, highlighting the inherent dangers of underground mining. Sterling Hill Mine serves as a reminder of how dangerous being a miner can be. For some, this was their final resting place, a tomb if you will, and we're about to step inside and see who's willing to speak with us from beyond. So before we do our investigation inside of the mine, we're actually going to do a loud TNT boom to kind of trigger anything in the environment. Hopefully something maybe recognizes the sound or reacts to it. So we're gonna do this before we even start investigating. So here we go. Obviously it's a fake TNT boom. Yeah, it's not real TNT. No, it's fake. Just, just the noise, just the noise. But that would be kind of fun. Yeah, we should try that next time. <laughs> Okay, so we are about to go into the mine. Oh wait, let me see your backpack. Oh. Spin it around. Look how small this thing, it has a lunchbox attachment on it. The music box is in there. So if you didn't see our vlog channel, we actually posted me going to get this backpack today before the investigation. So make sure you guys check that out on our vlog channel we right here. We tried some food and stuff too. Yeah, so check it out, let us know what you think. Give it a sub if you want, but it's time. Here we go. Here we go. We've never been in here, just the two of us. No, this is the first time we're going into this mine alone. Oh my. You cannot see in front of you. Like, it is so dark. We might do a session in here where we just do infrared with the lights off. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Kalani wants to, we'll see how I'm feeling. Okay, make sure the door closes. They actually have, report, they actually have reports of bears in the area, so. We're just gonna make sure that that's closed. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh my. All right, so. This is so freaky. Okay, this bright, bright light on the camera. Wait, turn that light off. You, you can only see to like that little rope right there. That's how dark Shh. it is. You hear water drops, but I thought I just heard like a laugh. Oh my. Oh, that freak. Oh. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Emerging from the ground. Oh my gosh. That thing's creepy. What's insane is that a real life human would have been doing that. Yeah, like where the mannequins are placed inside of the mine. Is like where us would, would have been would somebody have. did a job. Yeah, and this would have been their entire job too. Like they kind of had their special, like just their yeah, they had their role. they did. Like yeah. They had their job. Right? So you were doing the same thing all day. So fun fact for you guys, if you steal from this mine, even to this day, it's a federal offense. So don't steal from it. It was one of only two zinc mines that provided the majority of zinc material to the US. So back in the day, this place was super important. Now, as I told you, 26 floors, the 26th one, or the 25 below this one are all flooded. There's people trapped in that floor. So we have to be very respectful. This is still a place of remembrance. People lost their lives here and there's still people trapped here. So let's keep going. You know what I think is really interesting? Hmm. Um, how John and Chris were telling us that like the, the people that worked here, the guys that worked in the mine, it became like a lifestyle for them. And there are some of those people that still come back to visit and spend time here just because it meant that much to them. You know? Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lifestyle. Like, 
I don't know if anyone's ever been in a coal mine before or, or known a coal miner, but there's a there's a couple songs from like if you've ever played Fallout. <laughs> I know that's like a bad example, but if you've ever played Fallout, there's songs about coal mining, and those songs were real. Like it's once that coal mining gets in your blood, you're a coal miner, and I think there's a special bond with mining, and even if people are coming back here as they're alive to just do certain responsibilities and give back to the mine, I think you could very well easily say that they're doing that dead. Yeah. It's just interesting because it's such a dangerous job, but people just get hooked on it and it just becomes everything. Now, something else to point out is before they had lamps or lights, they used candlesticks. And you had three candles per shift. And so you were hoping that your three candles lasted your whole shift because if not, you would have to call out to somebody to come help you because you literally could not even see your hand in front of your face. It's just, it's that dark in here. Crazy. What is this room over here again? Oh, the So this is where they would, have, they, where they would have checked in and they would have essentially There's a humming coming from this room, but I thought I heard something else. Something else. But this is where they would have come to get their electric cap lamps. So you can see they've got the battery pack with the lamps on them right here. But this is where they would have checked in. This is where they would have known how many people were going into the mine that day. Right here, you've got the check-in board. Right, so you, you take your- Number with you. Your number with you, and then when you're done for the day, you put it back on the board and they would know that there's something going up or there's something up if it was quitting time and there, there wasn't a token missing. back. Yeah. Wow, look at that guy's hair. I know. What is that? This is an oxygen apparatus. That's cool. That's kind of scary looking. Anything that I need that for, I don't think I want to be a part of. That <laughs> that looks very you don't scary want to be a minor? No, I don't, I don't think that I would survive. Okay, so I think... What's this way? This is just another way to... Oh, okay. We're going to go to where the skip is, where the, the essentially the elevator of the mine was. I can't take you seriously with that tiny backpack. Leave me alone. It looks so small on your back. That's what she said. That's what she said. Oh, it's just, it's just so scary. You know what? There's probably so many spiders in here. And crickets. But I want to say, like, could you imagine, if you don't have this fear, I'm sorry to give it to you, or if you do have this fear, I'm sorry to bring it up, rekindle it, but could you imagine being in here working and then all of a sudden you just hear it crumbling? Why would you, you say and that? And you're trapped. Right now? Why would you say that right trapped now? Trapped in the mine? Why would you say that? Do you want to get trapped in the mine? No, I don't want to be trapped in the mine. Me either. Okay. Look, I wasn't even thinking about that. Like, if we had an earthquake, it very well could trap why, us in here. Why are you saying that right now? Just got to be real with you. If you want me to be in here and investigate with you, I'm going to need you to not bring that up. All right. Oh, over here. Look at the toilets. Yeah. Could you imagine having the job of, of cleaning, cleaning out, out these toilets? Let me see. You're going to get your butt dirty. Don't sit down. Well, let me squat. Why? Why do you need to squat? I, need, I just want to. <laughs> what? Why do you look like that? I'm an Instagram baddie. You sticking your butt out? Why do you know what an Instagram baddie is? My friends tell me about them. Oh, your friends tell you about them. Exploring with Josh tells me about them. Wow. <laughs> Josh is gonna get pissed. Okay. 
So I want to get set up in here. This is where I want to do our first session tonight is inside of this room. Now, take a look at this photo right here. This is what it would have looked like before they went down to another level here in the mine. So they would all stack up. On these. On these. And then they would ring the bell to signal down which floor they needed to go to. So if there's an emergency, there's nine bells followed by the level signal. So they would ring the bell nine times and then they would do the floor level if there was an emergency. So, so I guess that means that whenever you hear the bell going off, you better be paying attention yeah, and counting. And they had somebody in this are. room right here, I'm sure at all times. Yeah, this was like the office area, right? Sort of, what was that? I think it was water. Okay. Look at, look at the sign right here. What you got in there, Grumpy? A guy who was smoking when handling explosives. <laughs> that's, that's some dark humor. Disobeying safety rules may cost you your life, damn. I wish our posters still looked like that. That is a really cool. Okay, oh, so we have our equipment all out. If you find the two link, music boxes, boxes or for Oculus like that. Oh, and our so epic cool device. Studio, yeah. yeah. Now, what I'm gonna do to start in here is I'm actually gonna ring the bell nine times, and then I'm gonna ring it five more times for this level. So they think there's an emergency on this level. So if there is a spirit, maybe it'll kind of draw them up to this level because there's an emergency. So here we go, Savannah. All right. That is so creepy sounding. Okay, if there's any miners, I can hear my voice. My name's Kalani. And I'm Savannah. Oh, that is flashed, yes. And we're here to speak with you tonight. It's just us two in the mine. We don't mean you any harm or any disrespect. I know that you might be a little bit wary of a woman being in the mine, but we're just here to talk with you and maybe hear about your life story. Now we know that some of you lost your life here. And there may be some of you that passed on from normal circumstances and came back here. But either way, we're just here to speak with you and give you the opportunity to speak to us if you'd like. So we have pieces of equipment out here that may look foreign to you, but the intention is that you can use your energy to manipulate these. Now I'll show you quickly. If you want to come up the shaft and walk over to the corner over here, there's a box that'll play music. There's another device here that allow you to say yes or no if you have a response to our questions. There's another one here that'll take your energy input and give us a word output. And then another music box over by the body box. Let's do a quick EVP. Even, even though the water sounds are kind of loud. Yeah, we'll give it a run. Is there anybody here that would like to come through and say hello? What was that? That wasn't water. No. Can you make that knock again? What did it say? Emulate. Let's cut the recording. That was freaking loud. That was loud. I saw you jump. I, I mean, I was a little caught off guard. I didn't jump. Watch the footage back. Steady hand. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Is there anybody here that would like to come through and say hello? Oh, that's loud. 
That wasn't water. No. That's just me and you talking. Can you make that knock again? I think that's the camera. Oh. Okay, we heard something knock. That said yes, I think. You don't have to use our equipment to speak with us if you don't want to. You can make whatever loud, audible noise you can make, whether that's talking, whistling, knocking on something. We just appreciate you trying to communicate with us. Man, I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me. Uh-huh. But it almost looked like you could see like a... Some, oh, wait, what was that? Like a big, tall shadow? Yeah. I think I just saw it, too. And it looked like it had shoulders. Which, again... My camera is pointing that way. It could just be our eyes playing tricks in the fact that we know that there's a shadow figure here that's contributing to that. Yeah, but... That just flashed yes. I swear I saw something that had shoulders. We've heard that you can walk around and show yourself. Can you do that for us now? I think I might pee my pants if I see something walking towards Let's us. Let's walk this way just a little bit. So that's the music box picking me up. Do what? That was the music box picking me up. Oh. Okay. It sounded like footsteps down there. Are you trapped in the mine? Is this where you lost your life? What was that? I don't know. I'm gonna let you know right now that if you try to recommend a solo in here, your answer for me is not gonna be yes. Man, it just feels really weird in here. It, you know what else makes it feel weird, I think? Hmm. Is because there are people down below that were never found. Yeah, like I said, we're in a, a tomb essentially, right? Like There's people they couldn't get out. We're, we're sitting in a, a tomb with these people's bodies. Okay, so I want to sit right here for a minute. What was that? Don't know. I heard it. Oh. Hello! We need some help. Can someone come help us? If you can come help us, can you yell back? Let's do an EVP right here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Can anyone hear my voice? Can you come help us? Who's the obelisk? If you're in that room, can you play some of our music on one of our devices? Do you want a cigarette? I know you're not supposed to have one, but I can, I can give you a cigarette if you want one.
All right, let's listen back. Can anyone hear my voice? Why is it I don't know why. doing that? Can you come help us? I wasn't even holding it next to my camera that time. There's something in If you're in the room, room, can you play some of our music on one of our devices? Do you want a cigarette? I don't know what that is. It's just constant. Like. I know you're not supposed to have one, but I can I can give you a cigarette if you want one. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I'm gonna. I have another recorder we can try. I'm gonna switch it out, but I don't know why it's giving us that. That feedback. That's not saying that's paranormal. Yeah, but that is really weird, though. Look at the cage down in here, where your body would go. It literally is fit. There's like one side for one leg, one side for the other leg. And this is what they pulled you up in if you got injured or if there was a dead body. Okay. So I think I wanna move us to the TNT room. Okay. It seems kind of quiet in here right now, but I am gonna leave a piece of equipment in here uh, that will make a noise. So hopefully we'll hear it if it starts going off. Yeah. What do we have that's the loudest? I think I'm gonna leave the quad. Okay. So we'll turn that on and we'll leave that here. We could just leave our, our gear bag here if we really wanted until we move to another part. How far is the TNT room? Not super far. Okay. You want to get set up and grab some things and then head that way? Yeah, that is pretty loud if it echoes. So this device here will actually detect temperature, vibration, EMF, and vibration, EMF, temperature, and it's a REM pod. So this device here will actually detect EMF. Is that me? This device, will this device will detect EMF, temperature, vibration, and it's also a rim pod. So we have that set up here. Hopefully we can hear it if we're not in here. Yeah, so we're gonna pack up a few things and head over to the TNT room. Okay, so I have our music box here. I shot it directly at the mine. I've got our quad set up in the chair over there. And I've got our other music box facing right this direction. So if there is any kind of movement in here, hopefully one of these will go off and we can hear it. We're not going super far. But we're gonna head to the TNT room where they've gotten really crazy EVPs and uh, we're gonna take our PS Poulter script device and see uh, if we can have anything happen there. Should we leave the infrared running and see if that equipment goes off? We could. Or do you want to leave like my phone and a flashlight? No, we can leave the infrared. I don't know, just because like if we hear something and run back here, it's already going to be over. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Just for this one session. Because what it's if we, so dark? What if we caught something good? Uh, let's see what it looks like with the lights off. Turn your light off. Oh man, it's so dark. You can barely even. Too dark. Yeah, you can't even see. Dang it, okay. Okay, so we, I don't have my IR blaster with me because I didn't bring my huge case. We're in the Spider-Man backpack. <laughs> but I would need like three IR blasters for this cave. For how dark it is? Okay, well, never mind. <coughs> I have bad congestion right now, so. I'm sure that being in this damp mine is not helping your allergies either because it's kind of made my throat scratchy. I 
I don't think oh. I can show the camera very well, but down here is... Look at that guy. He looks oh. like death eating a ham sandwich. Holy... Is my light dying? Huh? Is it? Look at how much brighter... Turn off yours. Oh, it is dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the horror movie. We need our lights. No. Down there, you can see where it's flooded, too, but I can't get the camera to focus, but... Just know, if you were here in person, you could see the water down there. I wonder what all those pieces of equipment are. Is that for like drilling stuff? Yeah, you can see. So if you look at the holes they're making, uh -huh. and you see up here, like there's one they would have made. Yeah. What were the holes for? Different support systems. Oh. Uh, some of these were, were put in to run pipes. Like, Look at that right there. Yeah. But here's the TNT room. They said this room can get really active. Watch the puddle. Oh my, look how much water. Okay. Okay, so they said they get really crazy EVPs here. So we're actually gonna run two things here. We're gonna run our Poulter script. And then we'll do an EVP session. Now let's get closer to this room. They said it works best if you stay outside of the room and okay. you don't go into the room. Okay, we're here to speak with any of the miners that were here at one point. Whether you're trapped here now Hill. Portal. Portal. Well, this is Sterling Hill Mine. Yeah, it's a hill. hill. Are we, is this a... Different. Is this a portal? Oil. Oil? Device. Device. No, this isn't a... Oil device. Oil device. American? American? We are American. Explain. What do you want me to explain? What that device is? When? Goodbye. Do you not want to speak with us? Ramp. Ramp. It's not a ramp in here. Medicine. Do you need medicine for something? Death. Death. I'm going to turn down the sensitivity of here. So this thing has magnetic sensitivity. Now we heard that there was about 76 recorded deaths here, but there's some of you that never were written down that you died here. So if you want to say anything now to us, you can do that with this device. I couldn't imagine being stuck in this mine and what you had to go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, that is a really tough job. Yeah. Is there anyone that wants to come forward and say hello? Let's do an EVP session. We'll try it with all the water. It may be too loud, but we'll give it a run. Yeah, there is a lot of water back here. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it in the room. Okay. Is there anybody here in the explosive room that would like to say hello? I thought I just heard footsteps. Did you? Did you think that you heard it through water? Because I kind of thought I heard it through a puddle. Maybe it's that. No, it's not that. Did we just hear someone walking? I don't know. All right, let's play back. Is there anybody here in the explosive room that would like to say hello? Hi. 
You I, hear it? No, I heard talking and that wasn't this. The last thing this said was troll. You were talking in this? Yes. Play it again. Is there anybody here in the explosive room that would like to say hello? Right there. I thought I heard something right there. At the very end? Yeah. Like the rest of it, you can tell it's water. Play it again. Is there anybody here in the explosive room that would like to say hello? It's right before you start fiddling with it, but I don't know what it what it was. Let's try another one. I need you to use all of your energy to come through and try and say hello. Try and scream, yell, do whatever you can to get our attention. Is that? I don't know. It sounds like there's something moving. I need you to use all of your energy to come through and try and say hello. Try and scream, yell, whatever you can to get our attention. Is that a whistle? Hang on. I need you to use all of your energy to come through and try and say hello. Try and scream, yell, do whatever you can to get our attention. Was that? That wasn't on this. Oh. What was that? That was something out here. That sounded like a growl. Or like a grunt. This is the whole way that they had the growl happen on. Your bun's falling out. Is it? Yeah. walk down a little bit more and then we'll go get our stuff. You still have the polter script? Yeah. Hasn't gone off again. Last thing it said was troll, which I don't really know how to feel about that. Maybe they're calling me a troll. Maybe they're calling you a troll. Your hair. <laughs> We're on our way to the redneck ponytail. We're on our way because the bun is no longer bunning. Oh wait. Let me just, should I just pull it out? Look, can you guys see that cheetah print scrunchie? Here, stop moving. Look at the cheetah print scrunchie. Fashion. Can you just pull it out? Yeah. Okay. Right, we're about to turn into full, Billy, full Billy red Bob. Oh my goodness, wait. <laughs> because I had it in a bun. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like one big curl. 
That is killing me. Hey y'all, my name is Billy Rob, Ghost Hunter. I'm here at the Sterling Hill Mine, looking to talk to any of the miners that could be present. I hail from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and uh, I'm here to catch me some ghostesses. What was your name again? Billy Joe. I think you said Billy Bob. Billy Joe Gentry. Billy Joe Gentry. The homecoming queen. Oh, homecoming queen. King. Homecoming king. I think Billy Joe Gentry, homecoming queen is a song or in a song. I also can do a pretty good chills impression. Colony and Savannah are in the most haunted mine in New Jersey. But what they weren't expecting was something to run up behind them while they were doing a chills impression. And what happened next was truly terrifying. Wonderful. I think we should go back and get our stuff. You want to? And go to the next spot. Okay. Because I don't want to get too far. Yeah, that's true. Because then we'll do a lot of walking. And now that we have one flashlight, that's a... Uh, also, I need to redo your hair because this ain't gonna cut it. Can we switch lights since I'm walking in the front? Yeah, here, you can have this light and I'll put this one in my pocket since it's kind of dim. Oh, that's a lot better. Is that better? Yeah. Can I actually see where the hell you're going? Hey, brothers. I cannot let myself walk on the grate. It freaks me out. Like what if it just broke right there with me on it? Why would you say that? I don't know, I'm just in the mood of saying things No, tonight. stop putting bad things out in the air. I don't like that. It freaks me out. Like what if it just closes on us right now? No, absolutely not. Comment below, would you even come into a mine? I've been splunking before in caves. Now that gets freaky. There's plenty of horror movies out there about getting stuck in a cave. I think that might be on my top list of fears. Yeah, I think that, be, like, I think being stuck would be one of the worst Like ways. people knowing where you're at, but they just can't get to can't you. Can't get you. Just like that helpless feeling. Yeah. I can't even let my mind go there to think about that because it freaks me out that much. Same thing with like the people in the Titanic sub. Yeah. Like obviously it came out that they like instantly imploded. But even if they didn't, and they were like stuck down there. Oh, I can't imagine. How many things can even get down to them where they're at? Yeah. I couldn't imagine what would go through your mind in those scenarios. It would be horrible. So here's some more drilling equipment. Oh yeah, I see. So where are we going right now? So right now we're heading to where the TNT demo is. Yeah. But they've had oh. people get grabbed. We could just sit here for a second too. Okay. They've actually been ran at in this hallway by an unseen force. They had a warm breeze. Rush of air. Oh, and it's cold in here. Yeah, and it was like a growl. Yeah, when it came by. Hello! What was that? I don't know. I heard that though. Is that like a boot? Maybe like some kind of... Oh. Step. That's water. That's water. What was that? I don't know what that was. I don't know either. Like it sounded like a boot. Yeah, like some kind of heavy shoe. Yeah. Only like one step though. I wanna be ran at tonight. And I don't, cause I'm scared. What's up, chicken butt? Oh wait, I kind of want to go over here. 
the rainbow tunnel room? No, I think that's where the, is that where the lake is? No, oh. that's where the light up rocks are. Oh, never mind. I wanted to go where the lake was. I think I'm turned around. Here's, here's the thing. If I got put in here by myself, someone's coming to get me because I wouldn't know my way out. All right. Yeah, Savannah's not really good with direction. No, I'm not. No, I am not. I mean, it is easy to get turned around in here. It all kind of looks the same. It smells like the haunted mansion at Disney World in here. Look at this. What is it? What is that? That's how they used to ignite the explosives. Oh. Like. Hang on. Fire in the hole! That's a good impression. Well, I don't know why I threw my head back like I was getting shot. <laughs> So hard to decipher between what's water and the water far away. Sounds weird. Sounds different than the water up close. Does anybody need our help? Okay, so we've got our paralyte set there. Okay, if there's anything here that wants to communicate with me, please come forward, show yourself. I have two pieces of equipment out currently, one by the detonator and one in my hand. We would love to talk to you. 62 years. 62 years. Have you been here for 62 years? Watch. Were you a miner here? What was that? You heard that, right? That was like a growl. What is that? Watch where your feet go. It says fill. Spill. What was that? Did we just hear something growl? Rumble. That was a footstep. That was a footstep. Yelled. No doubt, that was a footstep. Can you make a loud noise for us? If you're the one that growled? What was that behind us? I heard that. Like a whimper, kind of. I turned the polter script off for now. I'm like really, really on edge and really freaked out. OK, 
Okay, I don't like it down here. I don't like it. Did we hear somebody growl? I don't like it. I do not feel good in here right now. I really don't. Like seriously, no joke. I have such a horrible, like oppressive feeling right now. I don't like the way it feels in here. Well, I, I really think this don't. is part of the area that Chris says she will not walk alone. And when she said that, I was like, oh, you're just saying that. Like, no, I actually am so beyond freaked out right now. Oh. Who's there? like a knock. What's even worse is that we can't see back there. Is there somebody trapped in here? Sounds like there's something moving. What was that? Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you come closer? There is legit something walking back there. Yeah, it's locked. There's no way for us to even get back there. What? I thought I just saw like something right in that. I don't like, ugh, I don't like this area. I, I don't like that at all. I just feel like, I just feel like there's something behind us. It, it, you get like this feeling that there's something surrounding you in here. And from all sides. And that's the area that she said that they got. Yeah, I, I swear I just saw something move at the end of the, at the. The rainbow tunnel? You see where your light hits on that right there? Yeah. Like right to the right of that. It's like I saw some kind of like squatty figure move. The infrared's even having a hard time seeing down that far. Yeah, this, I don't even think this can see down that far. I swear I just saw something. I swear I saw something. We didn't even really have like any equipment out. No, like just, I think that probably is one of the better ways to investigate in here is just to listen. I mean. Cause I know, I know that like your ears and your eyes can play tricks on you, but some of those noises were not water. No, cause the water is pretty consistent. Pretty consistent. And but like, whatever we just heard right there did not sound like water. No, and there was something that sounded like this on the floor. I'm, just, on, I'm on edge now. Yeah. Like when we came over here, it had been pretty quiet. Yeah. Like I didn't really feel uncomfortable. No. But then all of a sudden we get over here and we hear something coming back from that hallway. Yeah. 
And I, I don't know if it was just my eyes, but I thought I saw something in the middle of that hallway. And then I heard that like step sound. Yeah. And that's when I jumped and then your jumping made me jump even more. But in, in that specific area, you're surrounded by like all of those corridors and you just feel like there's something coming at you from every direction. Even if there wasn't, you yeah. feel that way. Yeah, you feel yeah. that way. I don't know. I, I'm kind of just ready to put the equipment up and just S explore. Yeah, because it, it seems like you don't need, I, I'm going to pull out my recorder. Yeah. And maybe we can do a few burst sessions. I think when you're just standing there and you're not like waiting for something to go off, you're just like really listening. And that's when you hear the good stuff. Yeah. Because I feel like in here, that might be where we get our best interaction. I mean, that's what they say all the time. They hear the booms, the footsteps, the, the humming. Like, they hear stuff all the time. Not to mention, I want to be ready to, like, move. Run. Move. Yeah. After that little experience there. Yeah. So, we're just going to put our recorder in our back pocket. We're going to make ourselves really mobile. <laughs> Me and Spider-Man are going to be tight. We'll be real tight. You got it. What the fuck was that? I'm gonna shit my pants. That sounded like the the alarm. Connie, I literally, I literally do not know how much longer I can spend in here. What that nothing over here makes that noise. We had to we had to have caught it on this camera because I was pointed that direction. It sounded like the tone for the, the blast simulator, but it's not even on. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. This area right here seems to be pretty active. Let's do a quick burst here. Did we just hear the touch tone? What was that? What was that? What was that? I wonder if we caught it. Wait, listen. There's a scream in there. What is that? That's water. That's a scream. What is that? No, you're about to be on your own. I don't know how much more I can do. This is too much. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it so much. We still have a couple more spots to get to. No, 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 no. I'm not walking in the back. You're walking in the back. I don't like it. Which way is the lake? What's that smell? There's a different smell here. I've never smelled that in here. I don't know what it is, some kind of like earthy smell. But it's more than just musty. Yeah. But we, we were here earlier and I didn't hear, or I didn't smell that. Uh-uh. You wanna go to the lake? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought I just heard too loud, like, that way. I don't know. Let's go this way. The smell's getting stronger. Maybe it's the water? The lake down here? No, we, we, were, we were just here like an hour ago. 
That is true, and we didn't smell it. it smells like magnesium. How like, do you know what magnesium smells? No, it like? smells like a firework. I mean, I don't. I've never used TNT. I don't know what they use for the ignition or what that smells like, but it smells like a firework. What was that? It smells back. What is that smell? Hello? It does kind of smell like something burning. I don't know if that's like a residual. This is that underground lake right here. Hello? Can anybody hear our voices? That wasn't my stomach. Uh-uh. Okay, so I kind of just get the feeling yeah. that maybe like, yeah, you know I like to sing, but like the acoustic is really good and maybe like give these folks like a, a song. Also, they probably would have been singing while they were working. Maybe. What is this, the Seven Dwarfs? No, like you're, you're down here all day, like how are you going to pass the time? You know what I mean? It's true. The Seven Dwarfs. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major limb, the baffle Something just grabbed my hair. Something what? just grabbed what? my what? hair. What? Something just grabbed my hair. And it was not water. It felt like something went like this. And I, look, I'm not even, I wasn't even close enough for like my head to touch the wall or anything. Something just touched the top of my head. You okay? No, not unless there's like a spider on me or something. No. Are you looking good? Yeah, I don't see anything. I wasn't even close enough to the wall. No, you weren't by the wall close enough. If you just grabbed my hair, can you make a loud noise? Is that behind you? 
I'm telling you, I thought there was something behind me. I know something grabbed my hair. Maybe I should stand here and you should stand over there and see if we get anything. What was that? Water. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do an EVP. Did you enjoy that song? Did you lose your life in this mine? What year is it for you? All right, I'm gonna listen back. Did you enjoy that song? Was that more whistling? I thought I heard that, but I don't think that was the EVP. No, 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 play the... Oh, you don't? No, I think that was... Like, actually happening. Can you whistle back to this? Why are you crying? I don't know. Why are you crying? I don't, I don't know. Let me see. Show the tears. Why are you Are you scared? I'm not scared, but it's like I don't know what that is. Let my, it be, my adrenaline's pumping. Let it be shown that Kwani's crying. I'm not, it's and not I'm like not. A, it's not like a scared crying, but I'm, I'm like, I got a lot of juice flowing. How do you feel? It's a good thing we barely ate today because if we would have, I would have been shit in my pants. I feel like I'm ready to, I feel like I, you should do a solo in here because I want to be done. What? I don't like it in here. What do you mean? What do you we're, mean what do I mean? We're what ghost hunters. I mean? I don't, You're a ghost hunter, bro. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's scary. something in this water over here. Are there like fish in here? I mean, there could be something.
Okay, so we took a quick break to look at some of the footage. I think we debunked the bell tone that we heard. Yeah, we think that it was um, the music box moving in his pocket or the backpack, but the other stuff. But we did actually hear some disembodied voices that we didn't hear initially. And they were they were clear too, like they were pretty clear. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and debunk what happened at the detonator. Yeah. Because I noticed that it was when I put my backpack on and it has that same metallic ting like a music box. So I'm gonna go ahead and debunk that for us. I don't think that was paranormal. Don't think that was anything other than my music box moving. But we were here right outside the entrance to the mine yeah. and I wanna do an Estes session. Can't do it in there because there's no there's no signal. No signal, but out here we can do it. So we're gonna see what we can get, who we can talk to. So some people might argue that that proves that the spirit box doesn't work because you have to have signal. But my personal theory behind that is it's easier for them to manipulate what's coming through than it is for them to create it out of nothing. So I think that makes sense to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but regardless, we're gonna do it out here and see what happens. Okay, we're calling out to anyone here trapped at the Sterling Hill mine. Fury. Are you upset? Right. Do you like having people come visit you at the mine? Gabe. Is your name Gabriel? I heard you. Gabriel, did you lose your life here? I died going down. Were you at the shaft over there? Yes, or? down. Okay. So you were Listen. at the Listen. I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you still here, Gabe? Is there something keeping you here? What was it? What was what? Fell. You fell? I heard that outside of the spirit box. Help. The year, the year is 2024. Can anyone hear me and respond with their year? Blood. Oh my gosh. I thought that was out of the headset. That was so clear. Was there a lot of bloodshed here? He drank. Who drank? On the job. Who drank on the job? Yes. Good night. Who growled at us inside of the mine? He didn't listen to us. Did someone get hurt? We tried. Did someone get hurt because they didn't listen? Yes. To save him. You tried to save him? What? What floor was he on? Heather. His wife. Heather was his wife? Okay. Well, what floor was he on when he passed away? He never thought He didn't think he would die? He'd be dead. Okay, that makes sense. That was really... By crazy. himself. Is he in the mine? Is that the one that growled at us? Here he is. Look. Where am I supposed to look? They didn't find me. Are you the man that was drinking on the job? I'm sorry that you passed away. What floor were you on? Fall. Help me. I wish I could help you. I don't, I, there's nothing I can do where I'm at to help you. 23. You were on floor 23? When I died. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So. Do you stay here because this why is why are you here? I'm here to speak with you to get your story to understand why you're still here and why people you're are here. You're new. I am I'm new, yeah. I'm not a one that's always here. 
Is there a certain area in the mine that we can speak to you better? It's springtime. It doesn't feel like it. It's cold. This is a really sad session. I don't know why. But it just feels like there's there's helpless why? people that are just stuck here and they don't understand what happened, why they're still here. Do you know why you're still stuck here? Do you have any idea? Red flags. What are the red flags? We can do it. Is there anything I can do from my side to help you or give you comfort? Go home. Okay. Do you think I should go into the mine by myself? Yes. Okay. Respectfully. Okay. I'll do it respectfully. I'm not trying to show you any disrespect. Go. You want me to go in the mine by myself? We're tired. You're running out of energy? Don't look again. Don't look at what? Take them with you. Can you tell us what it looks like on your side? Take them. Take who? To leave. You want all of us to leave? John. You want John to leave? Both of them. John and Chris? Do you want me to take John? I swear I just heard something that sounded kind of like an explosion. Do you want me to take John into the mine with me? Drop the line. Drop the line? What, is, what does that mean? I'm going down. Okay. This sounds like a residual conversation. He has seven of them. That's true. Green first. Let There's me know two what you of guys them. think in the comments if you think this in is there. a residual conversation going on. But I can't tell. What Equipment. Doing. Yep. Thank you. Can anyone hear my voice? Thank you. The the spirit that was speaking do it. to me. Are you here to say something? Do you want me Thanks. to take John in the mine? Mine. Do you want me to take John with me? Isaac. Brown. Isaac Brown? Is your name Isaac Brown? Right. Okay, Isaac, how old are you? My name's Kalani, I'm 25. Thank you. Did you die here, Isaac? Not really. Wait. Joseph. Hold on. Who's Joseph? Okay. Take it. How many people passed away in the mine? You need it. No. Oh, this is another residual. He can go. Just kind of sounds like they're talking with each other. Savannah's saying that out loud. Stop. Now. You. You want me to stop? Stop talking. Right. You're annoying. Wow. That's kind of harsh. I'm just trying to be nice. You are. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost. Why are you so mean to me? Got it? I'm annoying. I got it. I'm laughing. Ha 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 ha. Hey, knock knock. Knock knock. Okay. You done? Yeah. It really seems like... It seemed like there was a mixture of something talking and something residual. 
Well, there towards the end, it just sounded like they were just like talking to each other. And it's kind of weird because I've never done an Estes where it sounds like whatever's coming through is yelling. So almost like they're talking to each other, like yelling in the mind. Cause you know what Maybe I mean? they had like your headphones on? I don't know, but they were like not just talking at a normal level like you would normally hear. They were like yelling at, I guess, each other. I don't know. Weird. Did anything make sense or no? Um, some of it, some of it seemed like it was talking to us. Some of it seemed like it was just like Religious going through the motions. Stuff. I wonder if like the talking that I heard back and forth was like the residual stuff, like I said, just because wh why were they so loud? Like n nothing else coming through was screaming, but the parts where they were communicating with each other, which I think they were, like they were just so, I wish you could have heard it. They were really loud. Okay, so Savannah told me that she doesn't want to go back into the mine before we came out here to do this. No. I was like, this is as far as I'm going. I got really freaked out. I really didn't like it. I didn't like the oppressive feeling that it gave me. So this, this was, oh, was my mic off? Yeah, I think it might have shut off during break. Oh, okay. Well, well luckily we had that one rolling anyway. So. Anyways, I told him, I was like, I'm not going back in there. I just, I don't like it in there. And I normally don't do that, but this is, I'm, I'm done. Okay, so this is what I think would be a really good idea, because I want to go do a solo in here. We've been investigating for a while right now. Yeah. But I want to go do a 10-minute solo, and then maybe send John in after 10 minutes. Send him in for what? Just to come get you? Well, send him in and tell him to bring his recorder. Okay. Because when you were under, they mentioned John's name, and I don't know, he's a familiar face here too. So I think maybe just a 10 minute session by myself, 10 minute session with John, we'll wrap it up there. Cause I feel like we've gotten, we haven't had a ton of equipment go off, but. This is a place I think just to come experience like your surroundings, because I don't really know how well they like the equipment. And when you're taking the time to just listen, there's so much you can yeah, hear. We, we heard some crazy stuff. I mean, we heard enough stuff that I said I'm not going back inside, so. <laughs> Savannah is leading me in here. I am literally inside of a, a, I'm literally inside of a mine by myself. Gotta play it cool. So I'm gonna do a, just a 10 minute solo and then I'm gonna have John join me for our final session to see if anything recognizes him, there's any familiarity there. But it seems like there's a, a lot of residual energy here. A lot of residual sounds, steps. I don't know how much of it is an active haunting but I think it's a lot of residual which with what took place here makes sense but here we go I want to go back to the skip area where the lifts were and try and give it another shot it's a lot creepier being in here alone like I don't have the comfort of having Savannah, which I don't really get scared, but this is a spooky experience. I don't like being in caves anymore like I used to when I was younger. I used to do splunking and now I'm too big. I get put in tight spaces and I freak out. I don't like a lot of people I get claustrophobic. So this is kind of nerve wracking for me, even though it's not super tight in here. It's just the fact of being underground. I'm all alone. Do not use cage hoist man in training. So we got the name, or we got the level 23 for that accident of the person that died. So I wonder what if what would happen if we hit the emergency for floor 23. I don't know the name of it though.
Okay, so that would be the 1850 pocket would be 23. Okay, so. Can I get any help? What was that? I'm all alone. Are there any miners that would like to come speak to me? That sounds wrong. No ditty. Where are the miners at? I heard about an accident that happened on 23. I don't know about you guys, but it, there's just a different energy in here. And I mean, I know some of my folks are very metaphysical. You, you have your crystals and your different things that do different things for you. And that's not my cup of tea, obviously, but you know, I respect it. I enjoy people's different spiritualities, but I think what's interesting is there's so many minerals in this mine. I mean, it was a zinc mine but they had so many other things you could get out of here. You know, what metaphysical properties does that carry and also keeping paranormal activity here or giving these spirits energy to speak to us? So it's something to consider. Like what if the rich mineral deposits give metaphysical properties to the spirits still here? Do you need help getting back to this level? Did you have an accident here? Who growled at me earlier? Right.
Who grabbed at me earlier? I thought I just heard something. I didn't hear anything on the EVP. Hello? I thought I heard you. So this right here was a body box. Now if you were injured or died in the mine, this is how they would retrieve your body, which is pretty creepy looking. Did anyone have to use a body box here? So you're not supposed to touch the walls, but you can see that it's all mineral. Is there anything you want to say? I don't have much more time. Okay, his, his mic should be picking up by now. Savannah gave him his mic.
Okay, so for the last session, I told Savannah, because we, we actually had your name come through on Estes outside. Yeah. And I asked if they wanted me to bring you in the mine. So we're just going to do one last quick session, but I want to go back to that area. That by the dynamite room? Too. Yeah. Actually, not even there. This hallway at the end of this hallway. Okay. That's where we had all that crazy stuff earlier. It was down towards the intersection by the uh, rainbow? Yep. Okay. This flashlight kind of stinks. <laughs> it's dying on me. I'm walking. I'm just pointing it in front of me. So you did your alone session? Right? Yeah, I just wanted to do an EVP or two and just see if anything... Kind of quiet, but... Yeah, the skip area, you don't get a whole lot of EVPs over there. You get more here in this area than you do there. And down towards that Zoolander. How far down do you want to go? Um, we can go to the intersection. Sure, yeah, right, right up there. Get away from this water. Just That's the, hang on, let's just give them an idea of how bright that light is. <laughs> That's like the horror movie flashlight. Yeah, I know, we're not getting much of anything. I'd be better right, off. Yeah, so we were standing like right here. Okay. Right up here. And it, it kind of felt like there was stuff coming from multiple sides so there was one time where i um actually saw an anomaly and this was an anomaly that kind of flew like normal dust or bugs it actually came around the corner on the floor on the wall tracked the wall back on the floor and then stopped in front of me and a group about five feet away and then vanished and it was right along here so that's kind of weird I couldn't tell where it came from. I thought it was by the door there, but it was closer this way. So it may have come around or over here somewhere. So maybe there is somebody here. Okay, this is your last opportunity to speak with us tonight. Do you make a noise and just tell us where you are so we could hear you? We could find you? Do you remember we were here all the time? My name is John. Come down here with us. Follow the light down here. Where did you hear the whistle? You heard the whistle down this way, right? Or no, yeah, we were down that way. Yeah, that's where it usually is. We could use some help. We're kind of in the middle of the mine here. No flashlight. Can anybody help us out of here? Try recorder if you want. Yeah, we can we can try one. I mean, it's probably gonna be loud, but 
I know, the water, that's why you gotta. Well, let's, we can go over by the. Maybe down that way a little more. You have tried outside the dynamite room though, right? Yeah. I wonder if we went and did that with me there, if it would make any difference whatsoever. We can try that on our way back. Let's okay. do one right here and let's we'll do that. Yeah, this is kind of in a good spot. About as muffled as it's going to get, I think. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Is there anything you would like to tell us? We heard that there was a man trapped on the 23rd floor. Did you tell me why you would stay here? Do you know that you passed? Were you drinking on the job? Do you think your death was uh, an accident or do you, th do you think that there was some negligence involved? What was that? Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, it's right after I asked the question. It's the same kind of grunts again, and the, uh, it's always, and again, you know as well as I do, we were talking about this before, they worked with the dust and the dirt and the stones and, <coughs> and your coughing just yeah. being in here. So what was it like for them? You know, they probably- Well, and something me and Savannah have found is it's a lot more residual stuff here. Yeah, I'm sure it's both going on, but again, what we captured in certain areas is definitely intelligent. I mean, they're direct responses. Well, so we had yeah. something on Estes that was, uh, it was talking to me and it was okay. telling us that there was a guy that was drinking on the job. He ended up getting stuck on the 23rd floor and they never got him out. And then within like a two minute span of that, it was like there was a residual conversation going on where they weren't talking to me and they were just talking to each other. And there was like a guy that said his name was Isaac Brown. I mean, you got to think, and that to, you know, when there was the cave-ins, they probably left them, especially that far down. Yeah, I mean, they weren't getting to them. They weren't digging them out, probably, especially in the 1800s. Yeah, you know. Want to see the rest of that, or yeah, I'm gonna go through the rest of this. Just listen back to your camera. At that point when you're listening back to that EVP, I thought I heard 
something from down there. Well, and that's what's weird about this place yeah. is like the sound is so weird. Yeah, you have the, the echo along with the drops, along with... What sounds like something screaming like yeah. far away. That's why I said ideally... You come on a, a, yeah, a day, dry, right, so, dry time? For, for two days straight and this is dry and so much different. <laughs> this is probably like one of the coolest places to do like an event though because you guys do events here all the oh, time. Oh yeah, we're probably here every every two months. We're here doing events and again it's when we do the uh, the October events it's a mini type. It's just a tour through the mine and we we stop every now and then turn the lights off and do an EVP session mm -hmm. and even then, people are saying that they felt like something brushed up against them, or they heard footsteps. And yeah, it's creepy. I mean, even if you weren't looking for ghosts, it's creepy. Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. walking through here by yourself, even with just a flashlight from end to end, is pretty creepy. What's up, Paul? All right, let's do one quick one by yeah, the. Yeah, just one quick one. Again, and that kills me. I wish I'd have known to where I could have cut that dripping off. Right here is where we stood. And we stand right here and we just talk in there. All right. Okay, I brought John back with me. Can you talk to us now? You remember me? I, I sat in that room. You were very talkative and you didn't seem real happy that we were here talking with you. Could you say hello or say my name? Were you the explosive supervisor? Did your death have anything to do with explosions or a cave-in? Do you have anything you want to tell us before we have to leave? Do you find it disrespectful, us being here and trying to talk to you? Right. Now those sounds, don't they sound like a, like a, a, like a puddle? Yeah. Like a yeah, I brought John back with me, can you talk to us now? There, hang on, listen. Say my name. I don't know if it's like a it's real quick. My name. Yeah, it's real quick and it does it's close. Did you hear it? Hello? <whistles> Could 
Could you bang on that metal like you did the last time? Hang on a minute. I'll show you that video too. Did that have anything to do with the explosions or a cave in? That was that loud sound we heard. Yeah. See, that's not even that's Close. not even what the water. That was more of a psh. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like it was... I don't know. That almost sounded like somebody calling from far away. I wonder if your camera caught that because it sounded like almost like someone was like, hello, oh, like hello, like really far away. Hello! We're down here near the explosive room. Come join us. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, so as I told you guys, I mean, we put out some equipment, we didn't really get much, but then when we just started doing EVPs and walking around and just listening, it seemed to give us more than we were asking for, honestly. Like there was, it, it, we, we even caught voices on the microphone, on the infrared camera, we weren't even doing EVP sessions. So this is a really cool spot. Um, there's not many places you can go where you can investigate safely inside of an old mine. I mean, it's not in use anymore for mining purposes, but it's really cool for what we do. And even if you're not into ghost hunting, it's really spooky and there's a lot of history here. So come check it out, Ogdensburg, New Jersey. Huge thanks to John and New Jersey Paranormal. They also do events here. So if you guys want to do a ghost hunt here, He's the guy you do it with. And I'm Kalani and Savannah's terrified, but this is the Sterling Hill Mine.